Okay, people, um, I have another simulation today. Uh, apologies, I have uh, flu and cough, so I may sneeze a bit through the presentation, but I'm going to try to make it quick. I um, have another presentation, this time um, for a lift um, that will operate on, uh, between three floors of a building. Uh, turn it on. At this stage, uh, the lift, uh, the car is on the first floor. Um, that the sensor for the car being present on the first floor. And the emergency reset button is um, in a position where it allows the system to work. If that went off, it means nothing here can operate. And the lift will just stop wherever it be. the car would just stop wherever it would be. But now let's assume there is no emergency and the system is allowed to operate. Um, it's on first floor right now. Uh, the door is open. You see, this is for door closed and it is off. So that means the door is open. And imagine you are um, you wanted it to move to level three, so you make a request at um, level three. You make a request for the lift to come up but notice the door is still open so the system will first uh, try to close the door so that is the motor or actuator uh, closing the door and um, of course this is a button so it would come on and off like that that's why i have to switch it off but the request has already been made and the door the motor runs the door closes so once the door closes um the motor for trying to close the door stops trying to run after a few seconds and then uh, repeat the request this is a bit rudimentary uh it's not so automated because i had only four outputs to work with um but imagine this is like um, a good lift in a supermarket or a factory or something like that a lift that would not be carrying people so uh, the guy whoever is loading the lift would go up and make a request for the lift to come up. That motor would start to run, and then the lift would uh, leave, uh, the car would get up, would start rising and leave level one. So that switch would go off, and the motor would uh, start running. Of course, this would also be temporary, so it would go off. The motor will keep running until the car comes to level three once it reaches there the motor stops running and now the door is still closed so if you still want to get your stuff out you'd request for it again you'd be at that floor so the door would now be opening and um, of course this request would stop because it's a temporary button so the motor for, to run the gate or the door on the lift to open would run until the switch shows it um, show the computer that the door is uh, is now open and after some seconds the motor would stop trying to operate it now imagine um, the lift is now still at uh, level two imagine you wanted it to come to um, to level two now for example the middle floor you'd make that request and it would attempt to close the door remember the request is temporary the request um, button is pressed temporarily but the request remains until the door is closed so now this confirms this switch confirms the door is closed and then the motor stops uh, trying to close the door so if you made the request a second floor again the lift would now come down but remember the request is temporary so it would come down and even leave this level level three and then um i think uh let's do a bit of sequence there let's do this again it is at level three and uh, you make a request at level two so this would start correct and then uh, of course this request 
would start and then the lift would leave would leave that flow and of course the request would have stopped so the motor will keep going down until it reaches level 2 the car reaches level 2 and this switch is triggered it would stop the motor from running so our car is now at level 2 if you want to open it and get in uh, what you need to do is make another request uh, sorry uh, no 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 you'd make a request a second floor so it would open the door to open the door for you of course the request is temporary open the door so you get in and the motor after um, i set about 10 seconds would stop trying to open the door and now it is ready to close so uh, imagine you are now at level one or you want to go to level one you make a request so it will close it will uh, the motor for closing the door will operate and um, remember this uh, request will be temporary then once the door closes this goes off the motor for closing the door goes off and then you make your request again to move the lift down and it will begin moving down until um, it will keep going down until it arrives at level one and then it will automatically uh, try to open the door because the request is already there if you had stopped the request then this wouldn't be automatic but once it arrives there and the request for open is still held the button is still held it will automatically try to open the door and once the door opens um, of course this request will be temporary to stop and once the door opens after some seconds um, the motor for opening the door will also shut off so that is the automation of uh, a three floor lift thank you very much i hope uh, it was clear enough i you know i had to um, remember very properly the sequence because in real this is a simulator but in real life uh, you would not have for example uh, this this and this cannot come on at the same time because the car would only be on one floor at a time so where you saw glitches is probably somewhere where you switched on one switch when another was on but in practice it won't it wouldn't be possible so you can see the system works um are designed um in this case i'm only limited to only eight inputs and four outputs so i could only uh, design it for three floors but if uh, with the bigger plc of course you can uh, design a system that can work on more floors so more floors bigger plc and uh, more inputs and outputs thank you very much